right, with this West 2 Facebook Live update, uh, we continue to uh, closely monitor the, the tropics here. And uh, I, I'll tell you what, uh, now all of a sudden we're not watching one, but we're watching two areas of interest. And I'm going to uh, break all of that down for you here in just a scotch. Uh, let me go ahead and just uh, uh, share this over to a couple of different pages as of uh, right now. Uh, and again, we want you guys during uh, the year to... To follow the page, like the page, share these updates so that uh, we can reach as many people as possible and get the, the word out and let, let folks know what's going on, what uh, is happening in the tropics, what's happening with those potential afternoon uh, sea breeze storms. Jeff Neighbors, good to have you. Luke Canada has popped in. Luke, uh, always a pleasure to have you in here, uh, sir. Uh, Tina O'Wedding, James Hansen, uh, Henskin, excuse me, Oracle Invest. Uh, 90L, again, look at the winds, 45 miles an hour, but because it's not uh, a subtropical closed circulation, we do not have uh, Ana yet, but uh, that is likely coming tomorrow as it moves off uh, towards the south or the southwest later on tonight and tomorrow. Cassandra, Brenda, Diane, uh, Ken Hagen, uh, good to have you guys in here. I always appreciate you guys popping in and, and saying hi uh, as we uh, get you ready for your TGIF. Luke Canada, Terry Tracy. Uh, Ken, Jennifer, Luckenbach, good evening to you. Uh, I am, Michelle, thanks. Abby Fallon, yep, very nice breeze out there. So that's disturbance one again, not going to be an issue for us. Here's the newly formed area of interest. Sammy the Bull, Abby, uh, Diane, doing good. Jeanette, Luke Skywalker, good to have you there. So this little feature here may try to ride up towards uh, Corpus Christi, Houston, or potentially even southwest Louisiana. When you take a look at both of these features, neither uh, is very impressive looking right now. Uh, uh, you can see a little ball of energy uh, down here uh, that is uh, you know, trying to maybe gain a little organization. And then there's our other area of low pressure. Now, the water temperatures here are, are cold, uh, you know, cold by tropical standards anyway. Uh, but as it tries to work more towards the southwest here, uh, over the next 24 to 48 hours, it could begin to take on some subtropical uh, characteristics. And uh, if that's the case, then we'll get, we'll get on it. I, I think, again, very high likelihood uh, that that is going to happen. Now, closer to home, we don't have an invest yet, so I can't plot anything. But uh, the Western Gulf uh, is clearly a little bit warmer. Arena, Odalis, and D-Rod. Uh, good to have you guys in here. Always appreciate you all popping in and say hi. Uh, so we'll, we'll watch them. Um, the, the list of names, Anna and Bill, are the first two named storms. Remember now, hurricane season is just about uh, 11 and a half days out, uh, 12 if you want to go from today to the 1st of June. Uh, O'Dallas, good to have you. D-Rod, Diana New Yorkian have all popped in to say hi. All right, so NOAA came out with their outlook today. They are calling for a 60% chance for an above normal hurricane season. Now, there you go, Sammy the Bull. Uh, Diana New Yorkians popped in. Blessings to you, Odella. A 30% chance for a near normal season and just a 10% chance for a below normal season. And again, because of uh, a couple of things that uh, uh, we've talked about, there's a lack of an El Nino. El Ninos tend to inhibit tropical development. So we're neutral. Doesn't hurt. Doesn't help. Uh, we just came out of La Nina, which is now uh, considered dead. Uh, Mary Richard, good to have you. Beverly, uh, Cheryl Negrati. Uh, warmer than normal sea surface temperatures are out there. And a stronger West Africa, uh, African monsoon, which should help to aid in storm development if there's no wind shear. So let's take a look now at NOAA's outlook. 13 to 20 named storms, 6 to 10 hurricanes, and 3 to 5 major hurricanes when you compare that to Colorado State. Uh, pretty much dead smack right in, in the middle uh, with both forecasts right there. So very good, very good agreement. Now, uh, June development uh, typically takes shape in the Gulf or on the tail ends of fronts along the Carolina coast. Adam Parks, uh, you're welcome, Diana. Uh, Jacqueline Pickles has popped in. A and the thing that steers all these storms is the position of the Bermuda slash Azores high. When it's weak, storms can curve out to sea or well away from uh, the United States. When the high is stronger and builds farther to the west, 
Uh, that tends to allow for tracks that go more towards the west and potentially have a greater risk for striking the United States. Fort Myers here, enjoy watching you very much. Ah, County Jackson down there in Fort Myers. County, appreciate you popping in. Thanks so much. Sue Raymond, good evening to you. Good evening. Coffee. Ooh, Colleen, I'll take that coffee. Uh, one graphic I do want to show you is the 30 year climbing normals. Now, here, uh, this year we've jumped up to, uh, to 14, 7, and 3 just because of the activity and the higher uh, values and numbers of storms that have been coming out over the last 30 years. So we've kind of made a little bit of a jump. And that trend has been ongoing here since uh, the 1960s. So there we go. Hello from Ocala, Maribel. Uh, Billy Fortson, good to have you. I appreciate you guys popping in. Uh, Candy Fry has also popped in. And, and the one other thing I do want to show you, actually two more things. Uh, somebody had asked about the, the model tracks, spaghetti plots on our system there, uh, northeast of Bermuda. So we have it hooking back southwest and curving back to the northeast. Uh, so uh, no issues for us. Uh, Olivia, good to have you there. Rodas Outdoor Services popped in. Lisa Quadrado. Oh, yeah, you guys are warming up there in Philly. A Philly girl. We are heating up in the tropics, Lizzie. Uh, again, uh, Anna did, a, uh, did make her rounds in 2015 and actually started a stretch of years of storms before the 1st of June. So added back in 2015, six years ago, um, started a loop of storms developing before the 1st of June. And if she comes back this year, maybe she'll stop the seven year curse, right? Uh, Tony, golf weather tonight was better than, there you go, Ted Drake, love that. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is just one story. Uh, there have been a few spotty showers, but the, the, the wind continues to be the big issue here. Natalie Ann, good to have you there. Look at these showers. Just kind of racing along. There's I-95 near Oak Hill, Deltona, DeBerry, moving west towards Umatilla, Paisley. <clears throat> Little shower falling apart uh, west of Heathrow. And then uh, a little sprinkled cudaddle there falling apart right along the 408, and then a few more showers now are developing here into northern Brevard. So we'll watch them, not really worried about them. Now the wind this evening is pretty steady. 10 to 20, gust here at the top of the 8 o'clock hour, anywhere from 15 to 25 miles an hour. Sharon Negrotti, Natalie Ann, Pat uh, Polvoni, uh, I'll be out there in Florida. Ah! Leslie, you moving here or are you just visiting some, some friends with your boyfriend? Billy Fortson, we need rain, rain, rain so bad. Billy, you are indeed correct. We do. We do. And unfortunately, water is going to be in short supply once we get into the weekend. Phil Short, are we low this year? Are we lower this year? Um, we, we, we are. It's still going to be above normal, but not 30 named storms, so that's good. There you go, Sue. Coffee. Mmm. Um, thinking about it. Thinking about it. I haven't pulled that trigger yet. Uh, tonight's lows. Pretty comfortable here. Uh, Mid-60s inland areas. Low 70s along the coast. Short range forecast. Just visiting. Aha! What does she do down here, by the way, Liz? Uh, let's see here. There it is. Tonight and tomorrow. Windy, 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 windy. And do you have her... Uh, you have her watching uh, my Facebook lives yet, by the way? I meant to ask you that. Uh, Phil Short, you're welcome. Uh, Terry Hadilani from Denellen. There you go. And Liz, you look too young to be a mom, by the way, in your avatar picture there. Got good genes there, kid. Good genes. All right, tomorrow, here we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Low 80s at the beaches, middle and upper 80s back through the interior. Uh, Billy Fortson, I got you. And right back at you. Lots of love your way. Send it to me in a minute. Uh, uh, Maribel, we'll, we'll check them out here in a second. I'm happy to do so for you. Soccer game explorer Saturday. It looks good. Looks great. Um, rain chances are even lower. Temperatures will be uh, going from the 80s into the 70s. What do we watch? What do we watch for the welcome to the summer pattern? Ah, Denise. Uh, the sea breeze storms. Not yet. Hello. Oh, Madeline. Everybody say hello. To Miss Aruba, Madeline Cock has popped in. Maddie, Maddie, so good to have you in here, young lady. We miss you, by the way. How's, how's the weather in Aruba tonight? A little breeze out of the east? 
You got the trades are blowing there, girl. The win east at 15 to 20. Well, JoJo, uh, the way things are going today when, with, with us now watching two features, uh, you may be right. Jennifer Weatherby, Jay Weatherby has popped in. Jennifer, good to have you. Mike uh, Bl Blagojevic Savic, hello. Uh, Stacy Barnhart, Stace. Stacy. Small craft advisory, sees a rough offshore. Near shore breakers, four to six feet. Um, dog walking forecast, looking good. Not bad. Golf forecast for tomorrow, looking good. Brad Mars, Brad Bruno Marcy, good to have you there, Brad. Appreciate you. Very breezy. And uh, what's what's uh, your temperature? 30 Celsius, 86. Stacy Barnhart, good to have you in here, by the way. Uh, so there's the golf uh, tractions. Disney, 70, 82, 82. Sea World, pretty much the same. Maybe just a degree difference. Uh, <clears throat> there you go. Now let's talk about this heat <clears throat> and this big bulge of hot air that's coming our way Saturday. Not bad. Sunday, as the high inches in closer to us, we are expecting the temperatures to uh, begin to climb. Monday, Tuesday, oof, oof. So here, here's what we're thinking here. Uh, 95 plus next week away from the coast. Stella's doing good. St uh, uh, family's doing good. Jennifer, I appreciate you asking. Hope you're doing well, uh, my friend. Always good to have you in here. Uh, Wanda Hamilton, Christina Johnson, uh, good to have the both of you in here. All right, five-day forecast for Ocala. Comfortable by night, but turning sizzling hot by the afternoon. In fact, let me show you something here. <clears throat> All right, watch this. Check it. Look at that. 92 to 96. Let's take a look at Tuesday, 95, 97. Let's go to Wednesday, 96 to 100. Stidney, good to have you there. Uh, well, hopefully soon here, sure, hopefully soon. You have to tell me about it, Joe. Dina, good to have you. Diane, Irene, drink plenty of water. Absolutely. Wednesday, pushing 100 in a few inland areas. Look at that, 101 is what the GFS model is calling for. Uh, next Thursday. There you go. Yeah, Jennifer, that's what I thought. I can't believe it's been a year already. Holy moly. Wowza. Uh, and then hopefully here, Friday, will be the last hot one. Hopefully. There it is. Potential 100 degrees there. Oof. No thank you. Yeah, Wanda, no doubt. You're in a good spot. Uh, share to a group. Uh, Juanita uh, Jimenez, which group did you share to? And I appreciate that, by the way. So, yeah, a, a little look there at the heat. That's it. So, uh, a couple of heat safety tips here. Remember, hydrate, drink plenty of water. Take breaks. Don't overdo it. Cool off. Head indoors and feeling the effects from heat. For the pets, here's what you got to look out for. Uh, drink plenty, they have to drink plenty of water. Can we want to keep the pet cool? Uh, no, no, usually when it's this hot, you don't have a whole lot of humidity. A limit the time on the asphalt. Pets, uh, body can heat up. Pets and paws, no good there. Watch for the symptoms. Panting, difficulty breathing, and weakness. So there we go. Outlaw those triple E. Yeah. Next week, it is going to be ridiculously hot. There's no doubt about that. Um, boat safety tips. You guys are going to seek refuge here. Trying to get over to the coast or the lakes. Wear a life jacket. Make sure everyone on board has one. Check the equipment. Schedule a vessel safety check with the USCG. And travel at safe speeds. Learn the area and boating speed zones. The wake zones, you guys know the drill if you've been doing it a long time. And then, oh, by the way, we do have a lunar eclipse. Wednesday morning, total eclipse begins at 7:11. The total eclipse begins at 7:11. It total eclipse is at 7:19, and then the total eclipse will end at 7:26 in the morning. 
Uh, kids in the car, that, that's a, a, another excellent point there. Uh, we've got that uh, animation on that too. Uh, heats up pretty quickly. All right, let me show you the seven day uh, forecast here. There we go, 85, 86, 90, 94, 96, 97, 96. So it's uh, ridiculous heat. I mean, it's just dangerous heat if you're not careful, if you don't hydrate. It's uh, absolutely 100% correct. All right, let's take a look now at the weather uh, around the good old US of A. And uh, here's a look at what I've got for you. Justin Gigliotta, good to have you. Jojo Lovejoy has popped in. There you go. Uh, good to have you, Joe. Joe Lovejoy, how you doing, girly girl? Uh, Caribbean songs, hot, hot. And there you go, Diane. Yeah, Jay Weatherby, nice. Uh, ooh. All right, so here's a look at here's a look at our spin northeast of Bermuda, and then a little bit of a spin here, uh, trying to get going. off the southeast coast of Texas. All rain here, all rain there. You get up to Montana and out west. We got high mountain snows in California, Nevada, Washington, Oregon, Utah, Montana, Wyoming. Uh, the snow has ended out in Colorado. Uh, but I'm telling you, we got hit pretty good. Pretty feeling hot, hot, hot. <laughs> you guys are on fire tonight. Uh, there's going to be a little front that's actually going to come across the Great Lakes and over your way, and that's going to keep everything uh, back out to sea, Justin. Good question. <clears throat> yeah. There we go. Uh, Jojo, yeah, Joe, take care. Out west, it's cold. Up to the northeast, it is warming up. 73 DC, 62 Boston. 83 in Buffalo. Now, as far as that snow pack is concerned, look at out west. Montana really doing pretty good. Cheryl McGrath, you take care. Here we go. Jennifer Weatherby has shared. Jay Webbs, loving that. Uh, California, Utah, Wyoming, Idaho, Oregon, Washington, Montana, all doing very, very well uh, with the snow. Aaron Craycraft has popped in. Aaron Craycraft. Good to have you there, Mr. Craycraft. Cray Cray. All right, temperatures. Look at that. Fort Ross, Baker Lake, Iqaluit, still in the teens and 20s. Uh, Southwest, 93. Orlando, 76. San Jose coming in at 70. Santiago, 50. Punta Arenas, 45. Cape Town, 57. Kiev, 50. Uh, up towards Oslo, 41. Bratsk. 39, Yakutsk, 48, Seoul, Korea, 59, and uh, we got Tokyo at, uh, my mom is calling me, uh, so four at 64. Yeah, one sec. All right, so here we go. Ulan Matar, 59. Urkumi, 55. Eric Alberto, that's right. Maribel, correct. Uh, Aaron, will do. I'll, I'll, I'll grab him. Uh, uh, Jimmy Mutter, good to have you there. Northern Canada right now appears to be the coldest spot, uh, although I don't have uh, Antarctica. Yakuts 48, Bratsk 39, Broome 72, Perth 52, Hobart 54, Christchurch 63, and Auckland coming in at 59 degrees. And there you go. All right, gang. Let me go ahead and wrap this up with a look at the, uh, the seven day forecast. And you'll see right there 85, 86, 90. 94, 96, 97, and 96. So plenty of heat. Um, uh, 
finishing line. Oh, there you go, Halim. Nice. Very nice. So, again, the heat's the big story. Next week, we'll be watching the tropics here for the next few days, not only near Bermuda, but now coastal Texas and potentially Louisiana could get uh, some significant flooding. So, we'll keep you posted on that. All right, gang, let me rock and roll. Got to make some updates here in the tropics. Uh, get ready for uh, CW18 at 10 and Western News at 11. Be right back here tomorrow night, Friday night on Facebook Live, right around 8. Stay safe, wear your mask, and get those vaccines if you haven't done so already. All right, toodles. See ya.